Hi, I'm Glenn Sutherland, from, um, Creative Director from Sparkle Visual Effects. Uh, part of the article that I've written for um, 3D World are about topology um, includes uh, this head model. Um, it's like a, a demon head model, um, with teeth and eyes, two sets of eyes. And I just quickly wanted to go over um, how in this video we'll create the edge loops and the loops. So I'm just going to quickly draw the main loops that I'm going to focus on. Now we're going to box model this, so none of this will be apparent in the early stages. But if you look at the eyes straight away, we're going to create very, very quickly in the, in the base mesh a couple of key sets of loops. So the first two or three will be quite standard ones around the eyes. So we'll, we'll obviously create um, loops by... Um, generally we we'll do it with uh, extruding inwards like so. So we'll get two very strong loops around the eyes. The nostrils are quite, again, exactly the same sort of shape but on the side as the eye. We'll get that kind of flow going around the nostrils because when this one's animated it will we'll have to flare the nostrils. And we, If we have that kind of circular muscle group similar to the, the eyes then that will work nicely. There'll definitely be a flow down here uh, an edge loop that will go all the way around like so over the top and down the other side there and that will give us a nice clean cheek fold there and another big one will be around the mouth around here and we'll create that topology again probably with extrude of some type and you can see that's three or four of the main loops already. Same with the ear, this will be created probably with an extrude. Get some nice loops going all around the ear. And definitely up here we'll need some really nice loops all the way around the ear to give us some motion and good deformation in the ear. One of the very big loops that we'll focus on will come down here around the chin, around the front. And that will give us one of the first um, lines of polygons you see that one around the side there a line of polygons there once we've created that jawline it gives us a really good solid shape you can see it better on the left hand side here this will come up around the ear like so and that will mirror real real muscles um, a real jawline um, with muscles around it there the cheek fold that you saw me doing will be down sort of there and then the mouth will take it like so, roughly. And that will give us lots of movement around the corners of the mouth here. And the key eye loops, which I did at the front, the same at the side. And the ear, roughly like so. And the rest of the geometry, um, the, well, there'll be a flow around here into the cheek, give you an idea, that'll flow in there. Obviously, these will be quite static around the front, and there'll be a nice f gradient around the head, not too intense with polygons. The horns, uh, just go back to this model, will just be um, extruded out like so and give us a nice even horn shape there. But generally, that is the core of the... Um, flow of polygons for this type of model so it will be eye loops, mouth loop, um, good ear loops uh, and the defined chin all the way around like so. They'll be the ones that I'm looking at very very quickly um, that should should give me the really nice shape that we're after. So we'll move on to um, a 3D package and we'll make a start. <coughs> 